Leg Kick fans, audience around the world, we got a treat for you. Um, a very, very special interview um, with a Muay Thai legend. Already. Uh, already. A person who needs no introduction, but we're going to give her one anyway. Uh, one championship fighter, uh, former world cha- Muay Thai champion, and already kind of a, you know, you would say just already a superstar in the world of Muay Thai and kickboxing, Miss Wonder Girl Fairtex. Miss Wonder Girl, how are you today? I'm uh, sorry, Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I just finished training. So, yeah, I'm free. <laughs> I'm all good. That's great. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how, how was that training session? Uh, training session? Uh, today was set, yeah we, we we did in run in the morning today we went to the hills uh, yeah and then I'll do uh, strength and conditioning and afternoon I do Muay Thai yeah and then finish today for today yeah so one of the things uh, that's in, that's crazy that you've been training since morning and you just finished um i guess for in, in case you didn't know we are in north america specifically canada a lot of people here don't really understand what it's like to live that muay thai lifestyle um one thing that's really stuck out to me is just you know at such a young age you have so much experience obviously from living in thailand so i wanted to ask you know what's it like to have so many fights at such a young age and why do you think that gives you um the edge over your opponents uh yeah i mean uh yeah as you know <clears throat> you know thailand we fought like when we like very very young like me i fought my first fight happened when it was nine yeah wow. yeah when it was night like yeah, yeah i got first fight some of some of thai people some of thai kids they start when they were six or seven yeah. something like that and then keep going you know but but i i didn't i just fly like five times or something and then and then stop and then uh uh back to you know uh my thai journey when it was 14, 15, something, and it continued till now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now I still do Muay Thai. Yeah. And I think it's, I think it's, yeah, I think, I think it's, it's good, but it's good to fight when, you know, from young age. But I think that we need to use like protection. Like mm. like a ma- a major or something like that because here in Thailand we fight like professional, like not like yeah you know you know what I mean mm. yeah no a major just pro professional professional since we we are young. So yeah. sorry so I don't know too much. Well, I'm a Muay Thai fan and I train a little bit, but I don't I've never been to Thailand. So please explain um, or just clarify. Um, so there's no amateur fights in Thailand. So the second you want to fight, you're automatically a pro, or no? Yeah, uh, I mean, like in Thailand, a major, uh, more more Thai a major, we we have like quite you know have a professional called like not couples like a lot a lot of professional fights before and then fight in a major. Uh, yeah, that's kind of different, you know. Yeah. Fair so, enough. Yeah. It's different. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, would you say that um, in in Thailand you would like to see a little more um, amateur fighter fights first before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we need to, you know, like because most of Thai fighter they retire like too early for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like like some of them like. 20 something and then they retire mm-hmm. yeah because their bodies like uh have got a lot of damage because they don't use that much protection they fight like lots of professional fights like a lot mm-hmm. 
there like some of them like 300 or 200 fights you mm. know like that's a lot man well okay well well that, that brings us to another question which is um i know you come from a muay thai family uh for example your sister supergirl is also a fighter and i believe yeah. your um uh, dad. your dad also was yeah, a fighter yeah. and owns a gym um that you and your sister used to uh, at least uh, coach there a little bit so i wanted to ask um did you feel growing up i know you said you started at nine and then restarted your journey at 14 15 around there did you feel pressure to fight muay thai at all growing from this family of Muay Thai fighters, did you feel like you had to be a Muay Thai fighter? Or why did you want to become a Muay Thai fighter? Uh, yeah. Uh, when I was young, my, my dad, he took me to the stadium, like a local stadium. Yeah, and I saw guys fight, like smash, blah, blah, like elbows, blood. <laughs> but mm -hmm. I got scared. I want, I want, I do, I do want to, I want to try, you know. Like, I was like, whoa, this is so cool. Like, I want to do this too. And I, I asked my dad, like, dad, can I do this too? I want to try this. And yeah, of course, like, uh, any day, any day before in Thailand, uh, you know, I mean, in Muay Thai, like, female fighter don't really have a big opportunity, like, like nowadays, you know? Yeah, so he he worried about that. He don't want me to fight. He said like, "What? Well, uh, I think you should focus on your school things. I think it will be better for you." I was like, "Yeah, I I really want to do this. You know, like I want to try this." I I I I did. I begged him like so many times, and then he, he let me. <laughs> yeah, he let he let me fight. Yeah, it was so funny. Do you think like, like, your, sorry, do you think your sister had to beg him as hard or once you fought, he was like, okay, no, she can fight too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, so I, he saw I fought, like my sister, she, she saw, she saw me, I, I fought, blah, 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 and she, she, she did want to try too, so she, she asked him and she, and he said, okay, easily. I don't know why. <laughs> 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 maybe, maybe, uh, Maybe he, he saw that oh she's fine she 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 you know she she's still fine so maybe what about her yeah I think she, her sister will be fine too maybe he, he thought like that I guess mm -hmm. yeah and the reason I asked sorry Michael I'm asking all the questions but <laughs> I'm so uh, the reason <laughs> something. I ask is that you being from a Muay Thai family so your dad's a fighter your sister's a fighter. I'm sure you have lots of friends who are fighters um, who you've grown up with as well, seen some retire. How does yeah. it make you feel every time, maybe not when you go to fight, but you watch your family go to fight, knowing that, uh, you know, the dangers of the sport? Like, uh, how, how, what I feel when I, you know, like people around me, my yeah. career, like retire or... Yeah continue or success right like right yes yes um, uh, yeah. yeah yeah i feel yeah that that should make make me feel you know i did want to retire like like a couple times too because of you know in thailand uh female fighter we don't really get support like guys you know yeah it's quite sexism actually i I hate I hate that and I feel like oh should I keep going or just stop because uh, uh, they pay us like very very low low pay you know mm -hmm. so I think should I retire and keep uh, focus another things like school university and work like like a normal people mm -hmm. yeah and then I I thought I. I found a way, the new way uh, I can make money. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I did. Uh, when it was 19, yeah, 19, I, I start doing BJJ MMA. Mm. Yeah, because I saw one championship. Yeah, they have like uh, MMA 
and female like got paid like better than Muay Thai. Female, really? You know? Yeah, got yeah paid better, much much better. We got paid like you know like star like uh one one thousand five hundred baht per fight. You know that's really low, man. Like it's too low. Like you compare to guys, it's like so so different. Wow. Yeah. Um, there's a lot. Sorry, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, ones like, like they start. I think start like, I think it's like is is higher. They pay they pay better, much much better, and and the opportunity to come up is better than Muay Thai. Hmm. Yeah. Not nowadays, you know, like before. I was like, okay, or should I? I I I, I thought I was like. Or should I use my Muay Thai skill combined with, you know, BJJ and then do do MMA instead? Mm -hmm. So I did. I I try MMA like a major like a couple times, three or four times in Thailand. Yeah, and Brian, you know, Brian Fairtex, Fairtex, they they saw me like, oh, mm -hmm. we need we need a female fighter who who do MMA. Who interested in MMA? So they contact me, contact me, like, oh, do you want to trade here? Blah, blah. So I, I decided to stay here in Fairtex. Yeah, and I got opportunity, you know, like one championship. They, 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 they was start have kickboxing one mm -hmm. time in promotion. That was that was a, that was great, man. Like I was so happy. I was like, oh my god, finally. You know, yeah, and Stam, she she got like like a uh, very big opportunity. Like you know, she's a Thai first Muay Thai fighter got paid like that that much. You know, like mm -hmm. uh, almost one million, man, one million baht, almost. That's a big difference. <laughs> yeah, that's a big difference. I was like, wow, this this is a great this is a great opportunity to for me, you know, like stay in Fairtex and and I got opportunity to sign with one championship. Yeah. That's great, man. Like this, this changed my life. Thanks to one championship. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. awesome. Um Wow. Uh, so I guess the question I want to ask, because um, you mentioned that you there is there's sexism, um, and and it's sexist between the males and the females um, when it comes to tie fighters. I kind of want to ask you a bit more about that because I find that very, um, um, you know, I find it very interesting that you know somebody who is like a star like yourself and clearly has the skills was. It, you know, it wasn't as equal. Um, do you, what do you think, uh, what do you think needs to change in Thailand for the female Thai fighters to get as much money as the males? Yeah, that's, uh, I still wondering that, too, uh, you know, most of, most of us earn money from, <laughs> well, to be honest, for, for gambling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the gamble, the bet. Yeah, most of us earn money from that. Not like guys that got paid like mm -hmm. like a lot. Yeah, yes. And nowadays, even me, like I'm a I'm a Thailand champion, right? I got paid like twenty thousand baht. Yeah. That's not enough. Um, <laughs> that's not enough. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I'm. A, I'm a champion, they, and they pay like two twenty thousand baht. Man, like it's it's just really low. So yeah, it's not enough at all. And the promotion before they don't they don't really have like promotion. That's uh, for female fighters. Mm -hmm. Like nowadays, like nowadays we have like uh, the Channel A. Uh, Super Champ, Muay Thai Super Champ, Muay Thai Hardcore, yeah, they just, you know, all these things just happen lately, yeah. So it is so weird because hearing because Muay Thai belong to Thai people, yeah. and and is you know, and in Thailand is so shit. I don't know 
what happened. Yeah. That's now it's just shame. getting better, better, better. But still, the pay like we're still low. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, now it makes sense why you. A lot of fighters, for example, yourself, even I believe Stamp also said that uh, she wants to get into MMA, uh, not even get it. I mean, she wants to be like a, a three discipline champion, so kickboxing, yeah. Muay Thai, and uh, MMA as well. Um, as a Muay Thai champion, obviously, I, I'm sure you're very confident against most women uh, when it comes to stand up. But <laughs> what do you think is the going to be the biggest learning hurdle? or the biggest uh, thing for you to learn when you go into a um, MMA fight. So, you know, MMA and Muay Thai are different sports. You're very good at Muay Thai. What do you think is going to be the biggest difference in MMA when you fight other people? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, I think it will, it will be definitely like uh, Muay Thai we like smash like you know continue like striking yeah but MMA we, we still we have to think about it like we need to like pr like I call that uh, protect myself from the takedowns things round game wrestling you know yeah we have to. St uh, I think I have to stay on my game. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. More focus. It's kind of different. I, I cannot like. Oh, I I'll, I'll do. I threw everything that I, I got in Muay Thai. I think it's the. I think I don't think it's that. You know. It's. It, I think it's different. Different when, when I do in like Muay Thai. I can continue everything, mm -hmm. even though I got like like sweep or throw. I, I can get up and then you know continue the game, but but MMA if I fall down, yeah, they they will continue the game like like submission or round yeah. me for sure. Mm -hmm. So I think it's different. Have to careful. Yeah, but it's it's good, you know. It's good to learn like many many things, like new things. Yeah. 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 So so yeah, it's good. Love it. Okay. Um, yeah, that's interesting. So, um, with MMA, uh, you know, does has that kind of um, I would say, you know, you're known for training really hard, almost from day to night. So, do you how do you um, incorporate MMA into your training? Uh, do you kind of have like a second day for MMA, or is it is it kind of similar? Except you know, instead of Thai class, maybe you go to MMA class um, uh, on you know, at a different time. Oh uh, yeah, uh, we we do like uh, in the morning. We do after running. We do MMA till from eight thirty till ten ten thirty something like that. And then afternoon, we do Muay Thai session. Yeah, till from from three thirty till five. 5.30, something like that, and then 6.30, we do BJJ till 8, yeah, and then finish, and done. <laughs> <laughs> What's yeah. it like to train so much? <laughs> yeah, I know, like, if I have, if we have Muay Thai fight, we, we will uh, do Muay Thai two sessions per day in state, in state instead of MMA in the morning yeah and maybe drilling VJJ a little bit so you know just drill or roll yeah if we still have energy <laughs> yeah because Muay Thai is like a lot of cardio yeah like lots of cardio and running long run wow yeah wow um, so, you know, I also want to kind of circle back and talk about, um, you mentioned that um, Stamp, uh, Fairtex, and, you know, you talked about her kind of, it seemed like you were talking about her with admiration a little bit. Um, you know, for you, what's it like training with Stamp Fairtex? Yeah, I, yeah, I think because of her, that's why I, I start doing MMA because, because uh, the day 
the day before uh, we we were in the same same place you know like quite like early like 5,000 bar something mm -hmm. yeah same same thing but but and then she she was she, she was kind of uh, chained to MMA maybe first not not first like one of the uh, one of the female fighter, Muay Thai fighters, start doing MMA. You know, and I saw her. I was like, oh, she, this girl, she, 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 she doing something like, you know, new in Thailand because MMA in Thailand is really new. And most most of us, like most of Thai Thai people, they don't really into MMA as much as in, in Muay Thai. You know, so she's she's the one who start do MMA yeah to get more opportunity get paid more than yeah more than before you know so yeah and she got she got a big big change for fight for a title kickboxing mm -hmm. yeah. And, yeah, she, yeah, and, and she can fight like everything pretty much everything like you know you saw you saw it so I think yeah, she's a ro my role model. Like, yeah, I I think yeah, she can she can do it. So why not? Why why not? You know. It's that's crazy. I, 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 yeah, that's why I try try it and I, I stay here, doing MMA, Muay Thai, everything. <laughs> so, whatever it takes, right? Um, it's interesting that you mentioned Stamp um, because and being a role model because if I'm not mistaken, she's only 23, right? Um, yeah. And you're like 21 um, as well. So you guys are still so young, but I'm sure your role models and, you know, obviously something's working because us here in Canada, we have noticed Wonder Girl Fairtex and Stamp Fairtex and we're calling to interview. So we wanted i'm sure you're a role model to a lot of young female fighters as well growing up around the world really so what's your advice for young female fighters who also want to get into either muay thai or mma or maybe they're not fighters yet but they want to get into martial arts what's your advice yeah, yeah. all you all you need to do first thing you have to have a strong mind you know, if you want to do something, you have to get like strong mind, like a strong, strong heart. Like if you get hit or get, you know, get hurt, yeah, don't give up too easy. You know, this this kind of sport, of course, you you'll get hurt. Yeah, keep keep working on it. Keep practice. Yeah, open your mind. Listen to your coach. Yeah. You get improved for sure, hundred yeah. percent. Oh, okay. And so, yeah, moving on. Um, one championship, obviously, they've given you, um, you know, a contract, and you're fighting uh, at one championship. Um, I kind of want to ask, uh, you know, what's the differences between? You've also fought in Australia as well. Um, which is interesting. So I kind of want to ask, uh, what's the differences between fighting for one championship and let's say um, Rise, where you fought before, uh, where you fought a couple times? Oh, I, I never fought in Rise, my, but my, my sister, she she did. Yeah. yeah she did fight in Rise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in Japan, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think... I. Th I, I'm not sure about it, but I think one championship they pay kind of, you know, better mm -hmm. yeah, because because they uh, uh, I think they, they kind of big promotion, you know, and have a good marketing too. Like kind of like the mo like the the mar their marketing is very good, you know. That's in, really good. Marketing in Asia, in Asia is the biggest. Uh, I got a big, biggest what in the world have a lot of the most people in the world. Oh, audience, yeah, biggest yeah, audience. Audience, yeah, 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 audience, yeah, yeah. Sorry, 
yeah that that's great man like like you know it's just such a great marketing and they're trying to marketing in america as well right yeah, yeah that's yeah. smart i mean that's smart that's why they they have they they pay well because the, the marketing is just great yeah i think that 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 thing is different mm. Yeah, we've we've noticed here in um, America. Sorry, David. Uh, I feel like now it's my turn to ask all the questions, <laughs> but um, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I I feel like I've noticed one of the things that you know me and and a couple of my colleagues have noticed is that one championship really does well at marketing uh, their their fighters. Um, do you, for you, what was kind of you know. What do you think is their secret to, to marketing, it, it, you know, as opposed to, you know, other organizations? Because they do a really good job at, at uh, gaining an audience. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think, I think in, yeah, they, they did, they do, they did a great job in promoting, like, Instagram things. Like, they use TikTok also, you know, like, and TikTok's like, like most of people in in Asia, like yeah, I think around the world use that, use mm. that. Thing. Yeah, and they 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 did really great job, and they po they keep posting the Instagram like I think every hour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I saw like yeah every hours. I think that's good. That's good, and they, and their contents like not only. Uh, training, like fighting, they also have like uh, uh, other contents like uh, like from TikTok, from like like fighters lifestyle, something like that. I think mm -hmm. that's interesting. Yeah, that's a good marketing. Yeah. yeah, I think One FC does a really good job in getting the viewer, which is us, to care about the fighter and know more about the fighter as they go into the fight um because even in like their pre-fight videos are very good and very informative um so uh, i really enjoy that i just wanted to talk about your last one fc fight um i believe it was over casey carlos if i'm not mistaken yes. um interesting fight completely different from your first fight and uh, against Brooke Farrell, uh, where he won in like 80 seconds, I think. Um, this one, yeah. Casey did a great job in, I, I feel anyway, getting you in the in the clinch and she did well to get into the second round. Um, yeah. But the, doc the referee and the doctor had to stop it because of the broken nose. I just wanted to get your thoughts. How do you think you performed? What do you think, what do you, think you did well? And how do you hope to improve for the next fight? Mm, yeah. Uh, actually, first fight I got planned. I I planned it. I planned it to use my elbow, okay. but I, I I finished like yeah early earlier than I thought. <laughs> so yeah, it's a good thing to use in the second fight. Yeah, but Casey she did very really great job for defending. Yeah, she she did great job. You know that's that's a that's a yeah, she used this. Uh, elbow, like keep mm -hmm. her target, like you know, like keep keep her her face down and yeah. cover her face. Keep like the this. target small. Yeah, okay, yeah, keep the target small. Sorry, yeah, exactly. And I, yeah, I I cannot uh, knock her out with my my hands because she as soon as she get punched. She she go for clinch clinching automatically. <laughs> automatically. Yeah yeah yeah. So yeah, that's very really good and yeah, that's a good defending for punches and yeah, and I got I got my elbows to use as well. I I practiced since, since the first fight, so I I got changed to use that. So I used that. And yeah, that's that's a, that was a good fight. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, that was a really fun fight to watch. Yeah, uh, she as, and she she still want want to continue the fight too. She's yeah. a big part. Yeah, she, <laughs> she's a good fighter, man. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, oh. no, I I feel like yeah, it was a great fight to to watch. Um, yeah, as you said, your elbows, your knees in the clinch were really good for me to watch as a amateur learning. Um, yeah. And also, even like your on the outside, the one twos, I thought were really good. Um, so, yeah, that was really entertaining. Do you have another fight coming up? Yes. Uh, still waiting because of you know COVID things. Uh, we can go all, but we can cannot come come back to Thailand. So mm. I think we uh, had to wait more. But next fight will happen in Singapore. Yeah, yeah. Actually, the 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 there was plan to uh have ha- make the event happen in Shanghai, China, but mm. cannot. So mm. so now in Singapore. Yeah, I think Bangkok and Singapore is, is uh, more co- convenient for one championship to make the event happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I have to wait a bit more, maybe this year or next year, who knows? Hopefully not next year. Um, <laughs> yeah, me too. Hopefully. Yeah. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Singapore is a great city. That's number one. Um, but also number two, I know that your sister fought recently. Um, what did you think about her fight? Oh, she fought in oh, one FC, and I, I think she had a similar fight like you for her first fight as well. She won in the first round. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> she did great, great job. Uh, but you know, she she's only sixteen, and yeah, she now she taller than me, man. Like, <laughs> she, yeah, man, she taller than me. I, I don't think she can make fifty two. For sure, I think next time she should she she need to fight in the same division. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like fifty six something like that. Yeah, wow. yeah. But but ne- last time it was catch weight. Yeah, but she did great job. Great job. Her punch wow. is very strong too, and you know stabbing me as well. <laughs> Killer. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I feel your pain. My cousins are all getting taller than me, and they're only like 16, and I'm, I'm just an old man looking, at, looking up at them. So <laughs> I feel your pain. Four. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you mentioned, uh, you know, that you wanted to use your elbows more. Is that something that you plan to do for your MMA fights as well? Because. I know that, um, you know, obviously a lot, you want to use your Muay Thai and MMA, like you mentioned um, uh, before. Mm, Yeah, MMA, of course, uh, I will stay on my game, keep, yeah, like, like Stam did, yeah, but Stam, her, her clinching skill is very good, like, like, have a really great, great clinching, yeah, yeah, uh, I think, I was thinking on my game, like use my hand, low kick, elbow. Yeah, if I can, yeah, I I do really want to try my my takedown as well. <laughs> too. Yeah, if I, if I have a like a guard chain or sweep or something, I definitely I I definitely go for uh ground pound. If I got chain to submission, I'll I'll do that. Yeah. That's I want to challenge myself as well. Yeah, that was going to be one of my questions. Do you think that more MMA fighters should use uh, more uh, Muay Thai sweeps to get the game to the ground? Because right now everybody does wrestling takedowns and shots. Do you think that, you know, as coming from a Muay Thai background, you can use your sweeps to get people to the ground? Yeah, I think sweep is not that different from judo. You know, judo. But you don't use hip throw, right? Yeah, but they also have a like a kick. Use the leg and a kick and mm-hmm. throw. Yeah, I think that that thing is not that different from sweep in in Muay Thai. I think we uh, I think we can can use that. Yeah, you know. Yeah, a lot of people yeah, don't. Yeah, but it's all about timing too. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people that's, don't really that's use it. Thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, Michael, did you have any questions? Yeah, um, so I, I was kind of wondering, um, you know, obviously you had to, you moved from your home gym um, to uh, the Fairtex gym in Pattaya. And uh, forgive me if I butchered how to say that, uh, but 
<laughs> I, I, I kind of want to know, because you did it at such a young age, was that kind of hard for you to do? Um, were, were there any difficulties doing that? Uh, you mean like stay alone here in, in fight camp? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, it was quite a difficult time for me in the first first month. Yeah, it's quite difficult for me. And actually, if I, I, I stay, I mean, if I have fight coming up and I train so hard, like so hard, and yeah, of course, I, I miss my, my, my home, miss my family. I, I want to, yeah, I want to hug them. I want to see my, my, my dad, my mom, my sister, my cat, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just, sometimes I just want to see them, like, in person, you know. Mm-hmm. But I, I cannot, I have to stay there and I have to, I have to do my job first, like, yeah, finish the fight, and then I can go back home. Yeah, that's quite a hard time for me. But it's, but it's okay. It's okay. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> but now I'll do, I, I have, uh, I got a lot of friends here. Yeah. But so, still, just some time before fight coming up. Yeah. So when you're not training, um, what do you like to do? Do you have any hobbies? outside of fighting because i know that you know you're training for eight ten hours a day 12 hours a day um what do you do when you're not training when i'm not training yeah yeah talk to family (laughs) (laughs) yeah yeah i I stay uh i mostly i spend time with my sister Mm. like we do a lot of things sometimes like like wash animate or movie or drawing yeah sometimes we just like talk and uh play with our cats our yeah. pet yeah and yeah sometimes we start doing like uh try something new like cook cooking <laughs> yeah cooking something <laughs> and then uh give it to my mom my dad and try it <laughs> yeah, it's good. I, I saw that. Uh, sorry, go ahead. Uh-huh. No, <laughs> yeah, you can, and, sorry. Uh, yeah, and you know, because of COVID, we 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 we, ha- we got a lot of time to try something new, like yeah, like cooking. We 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 love to to cook like bakery. I mean, like sweet. You know, we love sweet. Wait, yeah. so, oh, like baking? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite, what's the best thing you've cooked in the last six months? Mm, last six months? I think my soft cookie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I give to everyone in my gym and they say, oh, this is good. I love awesome. it. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw that uh, video that you made where uh, you and um, that uh, that chef, were, you were training the chef in uh, Muay Thai. So that was pretty funny. I, I, I thought that was pretty funny. Um, but you mentioned that you were an anime fan, that you and your sister were watching anime. Um, yeah. I'm an anime fan too, so I just kind of want to ask, uh, what anime are you interested in right now? Oh, man, that's a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I got my base. I I like Naruto. It's the base for me. Mm. Yeah, Naruto. And now I I watch uh, uh I start watching uh Black Clover. Black Clover. Uh, was uh Fire Force. And okay. yeah, it's a lot, man. <laughs> uh, Act t- on Titan. Oh, I, uh, I love the fact that's in it. Yeah. <laughs> and what's next? Yeah, that man, there's a lot. I, I, yeah, I, I, I try a lot of new anime. But I still stuck in, into Naruto. I keep watching it again, again, over again. Yeah, I like it. I don't yeah. know. My, my, my favorite card is Kakashi. Oh, okay. Okay. 
I, I particularly am a fan of uh, of um, uh, Sasuke myself. I'm, you uh, know, he's, he's my favorite character. Yeah, yeah. Sasuke's my favorite character. Yeah, he's cool. He's cool. I, I like those. Those are my favorite. Um, but yeah, that's that's interesting. Um, you know, I, I also noticed that there is kind of a um, um, a parallel between a lot of uh, fighters who are fans of uh, anime. Is that something that you've noticed as well? And why do you think that is? What? Again, please? Sorry. Oh, sorry. So, so what I was saying is I noticed that a lot of fighters also like anime as well. Um, is that something that you've noticed as well? Yeah. Uh, you mean a lot of fighters like anime as well, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, I saw... It's not that different from my, you know, anime type. I, I saw I saw them yeah like had a like fight uh uh I cut it like action anime right mm -hmm. yeah yeah uh, yeah I got friend like like some anime too okay. like my sister we we watch anime like pretty much in COVID <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Um, oh, wow, I had a question that I can't remember it. Sorry, Michael, go. Oh, I was I was going to ask about COVID though, because um, you know, obviously, COVID's affected a lot of people's lives, um, whether directly or indirectly. And I kind of want to know um, what were some of the ways that COVID affected you? Affected me. Uh... Yeah, in a bad way and good way as well because in a good way I I got time to recover my my injury, my old injury. Yeah, I think that's a good good thing, good effect to me. But bad thing, uh, I I have no fight. <laughs> I supposed to fight in uh uh March or April or something. Mm. Yeah, but because of COVID, everything stopped. Mm. Yeah, that's why. But it's all good now. I, uh, my my injury is all gone. Everything is good. Uh, I got two fight in this year, mm. so I think it's everything is going is getting better. I'm, yeah. I'm sure you've fought in many empty gyms before, but I want to get your thoughts. What do you think is going to be like fighting 1FC uh, with no fans there to watch you? Yeah, yeah, man. I think with no fan, for me, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good thing is, like, I feel, yeah, no, no, don't have that much pressure, you know. And uh, uh, and I think when I do some, you know, I I got win like two, I I got two win right. When I win, everything just you know just silent. Mm -hmm. I need like some <laughs> yeah some crowd and like yelling something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but but that's that's fine. That's fine. Just just yeah. I, I just have to remind me like oh it's so it's so good. Uh, at least I, I I have I got two fight in a row yeah, on this year and in this situation I'm so lucky. Yeah. Most yeah most of people want to fight but they can't. Yeah, because there's yeah. not enough events, yeah, right? Yeah, it's not good. Yeah. It's not a big deal for me. Well, two things. Number one. Um, even though nobody's cheering in the gym, we're cheering at home. <laughs> so there's that, <laughs> number one. Number two, also, as long as they're paying you the same, I guess, then the fans uh, are second one, are secondary. So, uh, yeah, those are the two things. Um, Michael, did you have any questions? Uh, just, just one final question. Um, I just kind of wanted to ask, uh, where could people... Um, get more information about you because this was a really fun interview and i'm sure a lot of people are going to want to get more information to know um where they can see your, your next fight or just to get to know more about you uh yeah uh you you guys can get 
uh, more information about me, about my next part in my uh, Instagram, uh, Nat Wonder Girl, uh, or in uh, Fred Fertix Fertix Training Center in, in on Instagram, or in One Championship Instagram or Facebook page, fan page. Yeah, yeah, you guys can get those information from 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 those. Our social media, yeah. Great. I'll keep, I'll keep, uh, I'll keep posts. Uh, if I, if I, if I got something, you know, something new like, uh, big announcement like uh, I have five blah, blah blah something like that. Yeah, you, you guys can can follow me on Instagram. Not one girl, fatty. Not one girl. Okay, yeah. I just followed right, right now, so that's great. <laughs> Thank you very much for doing this. It's an honor to have a, a, a young legend, really. A young legend in female Muay Thai and MMA on this podcast. So thank you very much for coming. Thank you. No, not, not yet. Not uh, yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for me, I still got a lot of, you know, way, long way to go. Oh, of course, right yeah. Of course. But you're well on the path to yeah, yeah. being a legend. So yeah, we are really grateful here at the Light Cake for you to take the time to speak to us. So thank you. Thank you.